what was he called before? And somebody here asked that, do you believe that Jesus died for us? The day I will see a white man dying for a black man, then I'll believe in the white Jesus dying for black people. As far as I'm concerned, the black man is still hanging on the cross, surrounded by the two thieves on the left and on the right. These are the Europeans and the Chinese who are busy crucifying Africa on the same cross. We cannot even talk about the death of Jesus. Let's talk about the dying of Africa constantly. Let's not create theology of poverty and misery and glorify the death of Jesus when our brothers and sisters are still dying. The death of Christ, therefore, is a symbolic, symbolic death, the death of truth, the death of the poor, the death of the marginalized, the death of the children of the soil. And if religion use, is used to pacify that, then that is the doctrine of demons. For he came to set the captives free. And until Africa is free, there's no Jesus who has died on the cross. We are still dying to date. It cannot take one man to save the whole world. Yet we have 20 million Africans who drowned in the sea during slave trade. Is this God not tired of drinking blood? How much more blood does he need? Can you look at Congo? Give me the 15 million that died, plus the 25, 35 million. Calculate all the wars that have been fought in Africa. How many more millions? You tell me that all this blood that has been spilled is worth nothing, except the blood of one man who hung on a cross. So theolo theology must not be used to create a sympathy for the white man. Theology must be used to evoke the African to start thinking, have we come down from the cross yet? Or the Romans, they have not changed. They are still Europeans. They are still nailing our hands, the style of our work, putting on crowns of thorns on our heads, managing our minds and what we think, piercing our sides, poking our reserves of food and etc., nailing our feet, passports. You cannot travel without this and that. Can you tell me that Jesus died on the cross? The day I see a black man free, I will start talking about Jesus who died for the sins of the world. He could not have died for the black man and the white man who believes in him did the crimes that he did. Oh, Bishop. So now if, 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 if this is what you're saying, that until um, you see a black man free, then you now believe that Jesus died for us, then you still say that you still go to, sometimes you still go to SDA uh, with your family, then why are you going there? I'm a third generation Adventist in my family. A journey I've been pursuing for the past 52 years. You grow. And the shoes I was putting on when I was in primary school, I can no longer put on the same, same, same shoes. Going to a church, unless it has become patriotism, that you go to a church so that you feel like you belong. And once you belong to a church, you are not allowed to think. Therefore, shut up because you go to church. Don't think, because apparently when you enter a church, you must surrender your sanity, you must surrender your brains, you must surrender your critical mind. To become a member is actually selling your conscience. Hmm. Bishop, and many people also believe that Christianity is the way to make heaven. Does it mean that our forefathers uh, who died before Christianity was brought to Africa didn't or won't make heaven? The paganism of making an African wait for the heaven in the sky when the European is eating the heavens on earth is another doctrine of demons. Therefore, education and religion has become a passport of escaping from poverty. I don't want that religion at all. I cannot go to heaven to walk on the streets of gold when I have never touched the bar of gold on earth. I can't walk to heaven and own the estate of heaven when I fail to look after my own ground. Question, if God wanted us in heaven, why did he create us on earth? Now it's a big mission to kill all of us and resurrect us and move us to heaven for a thousand years and bring us back here again. Why the bother to kill people during the time, to kill people during the times of Noah and to preserve the devil, to kill your own son and you don't kill the devil. And apparently you must wait until the end of time to kill, to kill the devil. Why kill your son when you can kill the enemy yourself? 